Hello and welcome at Football Betting System. It is time to share the first tips of this uh, channel with you. These are the tips for 14 February 2020. We will go through each of the games that we are going to um, to work with today. Uh, let's start with Adelaide United against Central Coast Mariners of the Australian A-League. Uh, as you can see Adelaide United are in the fifth position right now and Central Coast Mariners are on the tenth position with quite some difference in points amongst each other as well. Um, Adelaide United has won three of the last five games of which at home uh, they did the same sort of record. They also won three games and they lost two. Central Coast Mariners on the other hand they lost four of their last five games and on the road they lost pretty much all of their games like the last five games and maybe even more. Actually they lost their last six games on the road. So they're not very good in, in form when it comes to, uh, to away games. Keeping that in mind, we can see that Adelaide United um, is giving, given also the um, the better odds here by the FBS system uh, at 158, uh, whereas the Central Coast Mariners get odds of 5.43. However, uh, given the fact that the uh, the value on this team is quite good, the system says that we should bet either at a draw on, on the game or to have the Central Coast Mariners win the game. And if we do that, we get odds of 3.06, whereas they should be 2.72. And we can see which bookmaker will provide us with this sort of details. And this is the 3.06 is at cool bet at the moment. So if you go there, you can place the bet for this price and you will have a value bet. A value bet. So that is what we will play for this game. And we will hop on to the next game, which is Tsarsko Selo against Vitosha Bistrica in the Bulgarian First League. Uh, these are two teams that are um, down in the bottom of the league. Tsarsko Selo is number 12, with only 16 points of the whole season, whereas Vitosha Bistrica has only 5 points uh, for out of 20 games in the whole season. And in, in, they are in the last position, number 14. You can see the same sort of thing, of course, in the last results. Uh, they have had a winter break in Bulgaria until uh, since the, uh, the the middle of December, and they will be playing the first game after the winter break this weekend. When we look at the home games of Charles Costello, we can actually see they won one game um, back in October, but other than that, they lost all of their home games as well, but they played a 2-2 draw against Etar in December. When it comes to Vitosha Bistrica, they lost almost all of their games in the whole season except for in November when they played against Bota Vratza, they played 1-1. So both of the teams are not very good in form. Uh, it is a tricky game. Uh, you would normally say Tsarsko Sela would be the team that is going to beat them because they got quite some points more. However, you never know, they might uh, have a draw against them and this is something that the, the system keeps track of as well. So when it comes to that we can see that Sars Costello gets also 1.83 uh, which, which would be the odds of the FPS system. Uh, for Vitosha it's 4.20. Um, however if you play either a draw or a win for Vitosha it will be 2.20 odds which is quite decent. Um, and if we lo look at the actual results of the bookmakers they will provide us with 2.45 odds, which is actually higher than what the system counts here. And therefore we believe that this would be uh, the better option for this game. Because even though they have only 5 points, they definitely have the opportunity to uh, scrape a draw through it. And um, yeah, in this way we will win the bet, of course. Where can we find this offer? That will be at uh, Bwin, actually. They have 2.45 for this game, uh, for an X and a 2, for a draw and a win for Vitosha. So we hop on to the next game. This is Istanbul Basakşehir against Besiktas. This is in the Turkish Super League. 
Istanbul is currently in third position with 40 points. Besiktas is in seventh position. They're a bigger name, but they're a bit behind in the rankings, but only four points behind. When it comes to the form, we can see that um, Basakshi here won two of their last five games, but they also drew two. So they've only been beaten once in the last five games, which is against Fenerbahce. Uh, Besiktas, on the other hand, lost three of their last five games. When we can see Istanbul at home actually won three of their last five games and also drew one. So they're pretty good at home. And away for Besiktas is not such a good record. So when it comes to that, when you look at all the information first, you would say, okay, Istanbul is going to win that game. Um, and we will see what the system will tell us about this. According to the system, Istanbul is indeed the favorite to win, 1.93 uh, against 4.54 for Besiktas. And also when it comes to the available odds, that would still be the best option to go for, Be uh, for to go for Istanbul here. Because at the bookies we can get this game for 2.15 odds, which is still higher than what the actual FPS system tells us. So let's go over to the bookies and see which bookie offers that. There's actually three bookies that are offering that price. It's B-Win, it's cool bet, and it's 1x bet. So there's definitely a good chance to cash in on some money for this game, I would say. We're going to the next game, which is in the Austrian League, uh, the Bundesliga. It's Red Bull Salzburg against Las Klins. This is the number one against the number two. And both teams are way ahead of the rest of the league. Um, you can see that even Las Klins is only two points behind uh, Salzburg. Also knowing that uh, Salzburg sold their star player uh, Haaland in this uh, winter transfer. So I would definitely say that there is a chance for Las Klins to win this game. When we look at the last games in the season, we can see that both teams are in very good form. Las Klins has a very good away record as well, by the way. Whereas they won their last 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Their, their last 10 games away they won, actually, which is really good. Um, so Las Klins, for me, des definitely has a chance. So let's, let's see what the system tells us. We can see that According to the system, Red Bull Salzburg is the big, big favorite, 1.89, whereas 4.06 for Las Klins. Um, when it comes to the opportunity to go for a win for Las Klins or a draw for the game, we have actually 2.12 odds, uh, which in my opinion is very good. We can even get better odds at the bookmaker, so that is definitely something that we can work on, and this is what we should bet on this game. Let's head over to the bookmakers and we can see that 1x bet is indeed offering the 2.23 here. So that is something that we can go for and that is what I suggest you to do. We go to the next game, we go to the Dutch League. It's VVV Venlo against Heracles Almelo. VVV Venlo is currently in 16th position, Heracles Almelo is number 9. Uh, but there's only eight points difference and um, you can see that on the bottom it's pretty tight with a lot of teams that can still relegate at the end of the season. Uh, VVV Venlo is having an okay form, so to say. They have like three draws and one win in their last five games, including a draw against PSV. Uh, they lost against Vitesse 3-0. Then on the other hand, Heracles is having not such a good form. They won their last game against Fortuna, but other than that, they lost three out of the other four games, and they had one draw as well. Um, on the road, Heracles has pretty much a similar record. They almost lost all their games and had two draws, whereas VVV at home is having an okay record again with two wins, two draws, and a loss. So potentially you would say VVV has the overhead, um, but in the rankings, Heracles is, of course, a bit higher as well. So this game could go either way. So let's have a look what the system tells us. Here we can see that VVV Venlo is definitely not the favorite, even though they're playing at home. 
Heracles gives us 2.19 odds and the VVV has 3.55. Um, the system tells us to bet for Heracles in this game and that is what we should do. We uh, would normally have 2.19 odds but in the bookmakers we can actually to, uh, receive 2.50 for that. So let's over let's go over to the bookmakers and what we can see here is that Unibet is offering that price at 2.50 at the moment. We stay in the Dutch league, but we go to the second league. Uh, this will be Volendam against Telstar. Volendam is currently at number 4 with 50 points. Telstar at number 10 with 36 points. So Volendam is quite, ahead, quite a bit ahead of Telstar. And we can see also that Volendam has quite a good form uh, with 4 wins and 1 draw in the last 5 games. Whereas Telstar won only 2 of the last 5 games, had 1 draw and lost 2 including a 7-1 defeat at home against Neck earlier this uh, this week. Um, Volendam at home is doing pretty well as well with another 4 wins and 1 draw whereas Telstar away has actually a quite a good record with 3 draws, 1 win and a defeat. So I would say that despite Volendam being quite high in the league, there's definitely a chance Telstar can do some damage there, even though they lost 7-1 earlier this week, but maybe they have a reason to to take some revenge on them, on their opponents, so let's see what we can do. Let's go back to the system, and the system will tell us that Volendam is the big, big favorite, and the odds for Telstar should be 3.99. As we can see that uh, the system tells us to bet either a draw or a win for Telstar, that is probably because of the fact that indeed they have uh, had quite a good away record and for 2.15 odds that is a pretty good value, however at the bookmakers we can get even more 2.50, so that would definitely be a good option there. And this will be done by, uh, will be offered by William Hill. So we can go there and we can place the bet and we will have it for 2.50. As you can see other um, bet maker, bookmakers, they also have quite good odds but not as good as William Hill at this moment. So for this bet you should definitely go there. Then we go to the Eindhoven Derby. It's going to be FC Eindhoven against Young PSV. Eindhoven is in the 13th position, 6 points ahead of Young PSV which are in 16th position. The form of both teams is not very good, both with three losses in their last five games, one win and one draw. So they have the exact same record. Eindhoven at home is also not very good, still three losses and one win and one draw. And PSV, young PSV away has again the same record. So. Both teams are pretty equal to each other, I would say, despite there being six points between them in the league. The FBS system tells us that FC Eindhoven is actually the big favorite at 1.77. Um, and at the bookmakers, we can get this same game even for 1.95. So there's like almost. 20 cents uh, advantage here that we should actually take advantage of. So we will definitely need to go and play for FC Eindhoven in this game. This is being offered by 1xbet. Uh, it's actually going down now to 194 but okay that's still kind of good. So at 1xbet you can still get that at this moment. We go to the next game, which is FC Den Bosch against Young FC Utrecht. These teams are on equal points in the league, in position number 11 and number 12. Also these teams have a similar record in the last 5 games, 2 wins, 2 losses and a draw. FC Den Bosch at home has won 3 of their last 5 games and only lost 1 of their last 5 games. 
and also FC Utrecht, Young FC Utrecht won two of their last games, uh, drew two and lost one only, and this is their home record actually, and they won against Young Ajax 7-2 last week, but this is not what we need to look at, because we need to look at the away record, of course, and the away record is a bit more dreadful, I would say, um, two draws and three losses, so this gives definitely the overhead to uh, FC Den Boss in this case. When we look at the system, we can see the same thing. Den Boss is the big favorite at odds of 1.73. And the bookmakers, they give lower rankings than that, only 1.65. But given the fact that Den Boss is the bigger favorite here, the system still favors to bet on that team, despite the odds being lower. And when we look at the bookmakers, which bookmaker is offering that, it is B-Win at the moment. 1.65. This is the highest that we can bet on this game. We continue in the Dutch League. It's going to be Top Os against FC Dordrecht. Two teams low in the rankings. Top Os number 17 and FC, Dem FC Dordrecht is number 19. Four points between them. We can see that Top Os won one of their last five games and drew two and the same counts actually for FC Dordrecht. At home, Top Os won two of their last games and drew one, whereas Dordrecht lost three of their last five games and had one draw and one win. Again, two teams that are able to beat each other at any given time, also knowing that they are quite close to each other in the rankings and at the bottom of these rankings as well. So when it comes to that, we can see that the system tells us that uh, Top Oz is the favorite because they're playing at home at odds of 2.10 against 3.58 for FC Dordrecht. And we can get similar odds at the bookmakers, 2.11. Uh, so a win for Top Oz is what we should go for at this game. Top Oz, um, okay, these odds are going down as we speak. They're now 2.06, and this is at Asian odds, and all the other ones are a bit lower. Pinnacle still has 2.05 as well. So if you want to bet on FC Oz, then this is the moment to do it, because otherwise the odds will go down a bit further. The next game is Excelsior Rotterdam against AZ Alkmaar, the young team. Um, Excelsior is currently 7th in the league and AZ is number 14. So there's quite a difference between the teams. Excelsior would normally be the favorite. In the recent results, however, we can still see that Excelsior managed to win only one of the last five games. They had three draws, however. And AZ, um, they won one game, they lost two and they drew two. Excelsior at home is actually not very good uh, because they only won one game and drew two. Whereas AZ at ho on the road is uh, terrible because they lost four of their last five games there. And one draw against Rodier C, which is a team that is in 18th position at the moment. Keeping that in mind, we can see that Excelsior is the big favorite to win the game at 1.63 odds. Uh, Young AZ has um, 5.14. Um, still, given the fact that these odds are that high um, for a draw and an away win, it will be 2.59, and we can get these odds for 2.68. So the system tells us to bet on a draw or a win for Young AZ. Um, probably because of the form of Excelsior is not very good at in their home stadium and that would the, be the reason for that. So have a look at the odds in the bookmakers. We can see that uh, 1x bet is offering that at 2.68 at the moment, and that is where you should place the bet. Still more games in the Dutch League. The Graafschap at home against Rode C. The Graafschap in third position, Rode C in 18th position. So there's a big, big difference between uh, those positions and the number of points that they have won. Rodi SA and the Grasshopper are both teams that have been playing for many many years in the highest league but they are currently not playing there. Um, 
but the Grafsov definitely has a chance to go back up uh, at the end of the season. We can see that their form is pretty good with four wins and a draw in the last five games. Rodiese has two draws and three defeats. When it comes to the home and away form, we can say that it's pretty similar to that, so let's not sp spend too much words on that. Um, the Graafschap winning uh, would be 1.50 in odds according to the system, 6.85 for ODSA, so there's a big difference in there as well. We can see that the Graafschap is indeed the, the main favorite. However, um, you get three odds for ODSA to win or to draw, and there's always a chance that that's going to happen, uh, especially in this league, and therefore I would say, or according to the system, it would be the best option to go for that. And at the bookmakers, we can get e even that for 3.25. So 3.25 will be offered by bet365, and you can place that bet. The next one is NEC against Helmond Sport. Helmond Sport is in the last position, the same amount of points as FC Dordrecht. N NEC is number 9 with 38 points. So that will be the clear favorite according to the rankings at least. Uh, NEC is also in a really good form. You can see that they won 7-1 against Starstar away. Um, and Helmond Sport lost 4-1 at home against Excelsior. So when it comes to that, you would clearly say NEC is going to completely beat them. Um, looking at the home record, however, NEC is not very convincing, to be honest. One win against Dean Bos and two draws and two losses. Of course, Helmut Sports away record is also not very good, so I would say that um, when it comes to this sort of the statistics, uh, the game can go either way. So let's have a look at the system odds. There the favorite is NEC Nijmegen, uh, massively against 9.67 uh, for Helmond Sport, so yes, uh, indeed, that would definitely be the case. Um, even though the the odds are so high uh, for an X and a 2, so a draw and a away win, the odds should normally be 3.94. However, at the bookmakers we can get it for 4.50, so that is uh, even higher and according to the system that is then the value bet to go for and we can see that this is being offered by two bookmakers 1x bet and also by unibet we go to the last game in the dutch league this is almere city against cambuur leeuwarden cambuur leeuwarden is the currently top of the league and almere city is number eight with 39 points Almere City won their last two games and Cambuur won their last three games. Almere City also have had two draws um, and only lost one of their last five, whereas Cambuur actually, as being the top of the league, they still lost two of their last five games. At home, Almere City is doing pretty well. Three wins and two losses against Cambuur with four wins in their last five away games. Not a bad record at all. What does the system tell us? They say that Cambuur is the favorite with 2.03. However, the odds on Almere City at 3.63 are not bad at all. And they are definitely um, a good value bet. Um, and you can get even odds of 1.97 uh, sorry, uh, for an away win, no, for a home win or for a draw. Um, at the bookmakers, we cannot really get that, but we can get it for 1.93, which apparently is still the way to go for, and that is what we should do in this situation. Then we head on to the Belgian League. It's going to be AS Open against AA Gent. AA Gent is currently the number two in the league, number two in the league, sorry, uh, at 49 points, quite ahead, quite a lot ahead, so quite a lot against so stop <laughs> quite a bit behind Club Brugge 
Uh, AS Open on the other hand is on 13th position with 26 points. We can see that the AS Open has two wins in the last five games and two losses and one draw. Then on the other hand Genk, Ghent is having four wins and one draw in the last five games and we can see that they also had a draw against Club Brugge before that. So when it comes to that Ghent is the favorite for the game. Let's have a look at what the system tells us. They tell us the exact same thing. And then also at the bookmakers um, this is what we should go for. Uh, 1.55 in the 54 in the system and 1.51 at the bookmakers. Um, as open basically has no chance so this is what we should go for in this game which bookers, bookmakers are offering that we are going to go to pinnacle and asian odds at 1.52 at the moment so this has gone a bit up actually which is oh no sorry 1.52 yeah it's gone one cent up so that's good for us i guess or for whoever wants to still place the bets next game the German Bundesliga, Borussia Dortmund against Eintracht Frankfurt. Borussia Dortmund currently in 3rd position at 39 points and Eintracht Frankfurt in ninth position with 28 points. Borussia Dortmund is a strong home team normally. They won uh, 3 of their last 5 games in total and they won 3 of their last 5 games at home as well including 2 draws and they have not lost at home since April 2019 so yes very strong at home indeed uh, Frankfurt on the other hand have a pretty good form as well with three wins and a draw in their last five games and their away record is not as good they have three losses a draw and a win <coughs> Looking at the system, it shows us that Borussia Dortmund is the big favorite for the game. That makes sense, looking at the statistics that we just did. Um, and also at the bookmakers, we can get it for 1.45, a little bit more than what the system tells us. And therefore, that is the best bet to place for this game. And the 1.45 has become a 1.46 at the moment at 1x bet. So you can give that a try. Then we head on to the championship. Hull City against Swansea City. Hull City currently number 15 in the league. Swansea City number 9. Hull City's form is not very good. With 4 losses at, uh, the, in the last 5 games and 1 draw. And also Swansea City is not in a very good form. Only 1 win, 2 draws and 2 losses. Hull City won one of their last five games at home, lost four, and Swansea had one win, two draws and two losses away. So based on this, the recent statistics, I would say that Swansea has the better chance. Um, the system, however, tells us that based on all the results that we have in this, in, in, in uh, all the factors that we have, Hull City is the favorite to win this game at home at odds of 2.40. Now what we can get at the bookmakers is even better because we can get this game for 3.30. 3 uh, so that's a big big difference and that is then uh, therefore the best bet to place. Even though that indeed looking at the statistics you would say that Swansea City is the favorite. Um, Unibet offers this game for 3.30, so that is where you should place the bets. Then we continue to go to the French League. We have uh, the Ligue 1, Monaco against Montpellier. Uh, Monaco is number 7 and Montpellier number 5. There's only two points difference between the teams. Monaco won their last two games and lost the three before that, whereas Montpellier won three of their last five games as well. Oh no, they did actually do that and they lost one game and they drew one. The loss was against Paris Saint-Germain which was a big one as well, 5-0. 
when it comes to the home and away games we can see that Monaco had three wins and two losses at home and Montpellier had only one win away and two draws and two losses looking at what the system tells us we can see that Monaco is the favorite to win at home and also uh, for an odds of 1.89 whereas at the bookmakers we can see that 1.98 has been offered and that is what we should bet on so we have uh, six units on that game and at the moment it's even at 1.91 okay that's the same thing okay sorry for that 1.91 at 1x bet so that's why we should go for it. we go back to the English league but this time this time to the Premier League uh, Wolverhampton Wanderers against Leicester City. Leicester City, uh, the champion of a few years ago, the surprise of this season again, number three in the league. And Wolverhampton Wanderers, number nine in the league. Wolves at home. No, Wolves in the current form is one win, two draws and two losses. Leicester has two wins, one draw and two losses. Wolves at home is having two wins, one draw and two losses whereas Leicester away won three times out of the last five games and lost two so yes is Leicester the favorite for to win this game probably given the form that they have the whole season according to the system the game is pretty equal uh, at 2.56 odds for Wolves and 2.97 for Leicester and a good chance as well for a draw um, still according to the odds availability at the bookmakers they would uh, the system tells us to place a home win bet on Wolverhampton Wanderers at odds of 2.65 and this is being offered by Coolbet at the moment a few more games to go we're going to Spain this time Valencia against Atletico Madrid Valencia number seven in the league Atletico Madrid number four two points difference between the two teams so very close Valencia won three of the last five games, whereas Atletico had two wins, one draw and two losses. Valencia at home is very strong. They won four of their last five games and also are unbeaten since um, May 2019 at home. So that is a pretty good home record. Atletico Madrid away. Um, not super good the one win two draws and two losses so yeah based on this I would say that Valencia would be the home favorite here um, the odds tell us different so uh, the, 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 the system tells us different 3.59 for a home win for Valencia and 2.38 for an Atletico away win um, At the bookmakers we can get Atletico for 2.65 and therefore that is the bet that we should play for. Will Atletico win against Valencia? That's the question. Uh, but what we can see here is that bet hard is actually the one that is offering that price for us and that's why we should place the bet. Next game is in Portugal, Primeira Liga, Vitoria Setubal against Gil Vicente. Setubal is in number 10 and Vicente is in place number 12. Three points between them. Setubal won two of the last games, drew one and uh, lost two. And Vicente has two draws, two losses and one win. Vicente did not win any of the last five away games. Uh, three draws and two losses, whereas Setubal won two games at home, drew one and lost two. Going to the statistics, we can see that Vicente is the slight favorite for the game and with the two odds of 2.44 and we can get these odds actually for 3.18 at the bookmakers and this is what the system goes for. 
So the system of 3.18 is being offered by 1x bet in this case, so that is why we should place the bet. Four more games to go. We head over to Argentina. Patronato against Union uh, Santa Fe. Patronato currently 22nd and Union uh, number 18. Uh, not a very good form of Patronato. Three draws and three losses in the last six home games. Sorry, in the last six games in general. Whereas we can see that Union won two, drew one, and lost three. The home form of Patronato is also not very good with three draws in the last six games and three losses. But also Union on the road is not doing very well. So it could be uh, a very open game, this one. When it comes to the system, what it tells us is 2.54 as a home advantage for Patronato. And it says that we should bet for that because the bookmakers are offering this game for 2.68 as well. And those are two. Those are Pinnacle and Asian Odds. We stay in Argentina, we have Colón de Santa Fe against Racing Club. Racing Club is number 5 and Colón is number 20, so there's a big difference between those teams. Colón is in a very bad form, 5 losses in a draw in the last 6 games. However, strangely enough, even though in 5th position, Racing is not doing very much better. Um, 1 win, 4 draws and a loss. Racing's away record is, however, very quite okay. Um, two wins and four draws and only one loss in the last six games. Seven, even. Um, when it comes to Cologne at home, they're doing okay. They can win a few games and they have lost a few games. So this could go either way for them. The system tells us that indeed as well so they say racing club is the slight favorite um, however Cologne definitely has chances uh, with with quite high odds for all three teams uh, for all two teams and also including a draw um, still given the fact that uh, racing is available for 2.24 which is lower than what they say um, this thing is uh, that we should definitely bet for racing club here as a as a win so that's what we're going to do. Uh, 2.24 is being offered by uh, Pinnacle and Asian Odds. We continue further. We have the Mexican League. Two games there. It's uh, Atletico San Luis against Club Leon. Club Leon currently the, um, the league leaders. Atletico San Luis in 12th position. They have lost their last game, uh, drew three other games and had one win. Leon has four wins and one loss in their last five games. San Luis, on the other hand, is having um, three home losses and one draw and one win. And Leon away has two wins, one loss, two, two losses and one draw actually. So let's have a look at the system, what it tells us. We can see that Leon is the slight favorite at 2.41 and at the bookmakers we can get them at 2.35. So we should go for a 2 here and Club Leon to win. 2.35 is being offered by Pinnacle and Asian Odds for this game. The last game that we're going to do today is uh, Monarcas Morelia against Club Tijuana. Both teams are not doing very well in the league at the moment. And we can see that in the current form. We can see three losses, a draw and a win for Morelia. And we can see um, two draws, two losses and a win for Tijuana. More or less the same goes for the home and away results. We can see that Morelia does win from time to time at home and also draws but they also lose. And Tijuana 
has the opportunity to win against uh, a team away, but it doesn't happen very often. So when it comes to that, we can see that, according to the statistics, uh, Monarcas Morelia is the favorite to win the game. However, the chances are that Tijuana is able to make some surprises, and then uh, with the X2 option, we ha would have 1.81 availability. At the bookmarkers ma makers, this is 1.83. So that is the bet that we should play in this game, and those are uh, those odds are being offered by one X bet. So that's it for now. So we're going to keep an eye on these bets to see whether um, we hit this 5% uh, ROI, return of investment, and uh, we will add the payouts here and we will calculate how much the return of investment is going to be. To be. And yeah, this will be done all the time whenever it we get to some games in this, in, the, in this channel. And that's how we will do it. If you have any questions, let us know. If you like the video, press the like button and in case you are new to the channel and if you would like to stay with us um, definitely hit that uh, subscribe button as well thank you for your time and bye bye